so, so, so excited. Hi, and welcome to my very, very first YouTube video. I am so excited. My name is Juka, and I am a musical theater performer from the Netherlands. And I thought, why not make a series on all my theater experiences so far? So how it all started for me up till my drama school experiences, my first jobs, my job in Doha, Qatar, my job on a cruise ship, uh, my tour in the Netherlands, um, all leading up to my life right now in Germany. I am currently working at Starlight Express in Germany. Well, we're currently on a break, of course, because of COVID-19, but once this is all over, we're gonna get back into it and I am planning on filming everything from my journey, how I get back onto my skates until our big premiere and everything after. So if you're excited to see more, please make sure you keep watching and hit the subscribe button below, of course. So let's get into it. I thought why not start with talking a little bit about my experiences as a kid, how I got into musical theater and how I started loving the theater. I always loved making music. I played the violin and later on the French horn and I sang a lot in school and yeah, I just, we sang a lot at home. I sang with my sister. I always loved singing, but I never really thought that I could actually make a living out of it. I wasn't one of those kids who was like, I want to get famous or I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to be a musical star when I grow up. But that kind of changed when I was 13 years old because that's when I started singing at this musical class in Os. <laughs> that's a little city in the south of the Netherlands. And yeah, this is where my real love for theater started growing. Um, I got to know this girl and we became friends and she's still one of my best friends today and it's so cool. It had always been her dream to become a musical theater performer. That was just everything she wanted. Yeah, I really got inspired by her and by the way she looked at it. And that is where I first started thinking, okay, maybe I am good enough or maybe this is really a business I want to grow in and go further in and become a professional. We had a yearly musical with this group. It was just like a semi-professional -prof musical because the lead roles were played by professionals and then the rest were adults and a whole bunch of kids. And I was one of those kids and I just loved, loved, loved being in the theater for two weeks and playing this show every night and it was just, it, it felt very, very big at the time and I know for a kid it is kind of big but when I think back on it now we did a few scenes I had maybe one little solo line to sing but it just felt like I loved it and it felt like such a responsibility, such a professional environment and that is kind of where my real love started. That's really what I lived for. Like I loved being there every Monday night in rehearsals. And that always was my number one. And it really, really started to become a big, big passion of mine. When I was 16 years old, I thought, okay, if I really want to do this, if I really want to become a professional, I have to see two things, if I'm good enough and if I really want it. So that's where I decided why not do a preschool year of um, the musical theater bachelor. There are basically three big schools that have a musical theater bachelor in the Netherlands. And I decided why not audition to see if I can do the preparation year. So I auditioned and I have to say, I cannot really remember that audition very well. I, I know every single minute of my bachelor audition, but my preparation year audition, I just can't really remember. Long story short, I got in and that meant I had to go to Rotterdam every Friday night and every Saturday for a preparation year of the conservatory. I did that whole year. It was really hard because I was graduating high school. I still had a few other hobbies like playing the horn. I played in an orchestra and it was really, really busy. 
Um, I had to travel every Friday right after my school by train one and a half hour to Rotterdam and then I slept at this family in Rotterdam and the whole Saturday I had to go to school in Rotterdam and then I went back home and on Saturday night I had to start doing my homework because I only had the Sunday left and I had to graduate of course but it was all worth it because I really found out that I loved it and that's where I realized I wanted to try and get into the musical theater bachelor if you want to get into musical theater it is so important that you do a preparation year it just prepares you a lot better than any other place would do it gives you a chance to get to know the teachers and all of that so if you audition for the bachelor they kind of know you which is a good thing so i would definitely recommend to do that so after i did this preparation year of course the auditions came up for the bachelor and it was a it was a very exciting time but also nerve-wracking because first of all i had to graduate that was one thing then i didn't know if i was gonna get into any of the th of the school so i had to have a backup plan so i also wanted to try get into what's it called i can't think of the word in english wait let me just look that up real quick <laughs> Oh, a midwife. I knew if I didn't get into a musical theater, I wanted to become a midwife. But I also had to get into that study because you can just like enroll like this. You have to do some tests and get an interview and all of that. So I was doing so many things at the same time and it was just very stressful, I remember. I think the first thing I heard was that I graduated high school which was good, <laughs> of course, which was the first good news. And then after that, I got my first rejection from one of the schools I was auditioning for, which was a big bummer, of course. I didn't know if I was gonna get into the other school, so it's always hard to deal with rejections, but especially if you're like 17, 18 years old and you're just starting out and it's your big, big dream to study musical theater, and I got all the way to the finals and yeah, I heard that they didn't take me in. So yeah, that was kind of a hard pill to swallow, I remember. But I knew I still had the finals in Rotterdam and I still had a chance there. So I kind of focused everything on that. I went to London with my best friends and my other friend was auditioning for the same school as well. And we knew that there was a chance that we would get a phone call when we were in London together and we talked about it a little bit like, ooh, that is gonna, it's gonna be so hard. What if one of us get it, gets in and the other one not and we're on a vacation there and how is it gonna go and what are we gonna do? So actually one of the last days we were in London, she got a phone call and they told her that she got in and that was, oh, I remember it so well. It was so nerve wracking because yeah, we were just sitting there at our, at our hotel room. We knew that I was gonna hear something within the next hours. And yeah, right after her, I got a phone call as well that I also got in and yeah, I, was just, I was just so, 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 so excited. And yeah, that is kind of how it all started. So I don't wanna go on too long about this because it's just like a little introduction on, yeah how my journey started and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and like and there is a lot to come so look out for that. Bye!